Hey everyone, this is for all signs. Remember, these are general readings, so only table resonates for you, okay? You have celebration. This is the love and pink oracle. Celebration, sudden excitement, joy. Then you have uprooting. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a lot of pink in here, but I forgot it's a love and pink oracle. Kiss. There is somebody that has been thinking a lot about you, okay? Like, I don't know if you guys have kissed each other, but if you did, there's like a memorable kiss that this person has not forgot about. It's like, now this person wants more, okay? Or all they want to do is just kiss you. It says, kiss lips, snitches. And then you have uproot, leaving the familiar behind. This person could have ghosted you, all right? This person could have just left you behind, walked away, right? No closure. This person could have just ran. Maybe you chased them. Love triangle. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting. Because you do have this uprooting card. So I do feel like whatever this person that was going through, right? They're leaving that behind. Romanticizing. This person's like obsessively like thinking about you. Like all they want to do is just say like kiss you and just have you back in their energy. And I do feel like when this person comes back, there's going to be some type of celebration. Maybe it's your birthday. Maybe it's their birthday. Maybe you guys go out on a date. Um, maybe you guys go see some, I know it's not the 4th of July, but maybe you guys go see some fireworks or light up some fireworks. But it's like, this person really does put you on a pedestal, okay? And when you put people on a pedestal, it's not really a good thing because you're viewing somebody so high up here. And it's like, they're viewing you higher than they view themselves. So maybe they feel like you're all the way up here and they're like all the way down here to where they don't have a lot to offer. This person could have had many partners too, by the way, with this love triangle. This person could have been known as a cheater. Then you have marriage. Yeah, they could be in a marriage, okay? And want different things. They're married, but their marriage is not really lasting because they want something and their partner wants something and they're not aligning here. And so they keep on cheating on this person and like moving from person to person behind this person's back. They're not happy with this person. I, I don't know why they don't just like leave them, right? Rather than cheating and cheating and cheating and hurting somebody over and over and over again. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys knew this person was married. The Ten of Swords, no, because I feel like you guys felt betrayed by whatever this person has done. Maybe this person just goes to you because they didn't want you to know that they were in another connection. The King of Swords, they didn't want you to find out. They didn't want you to know the truth. The Ace of Cups. This person does have some feelings for you, though. The Five of Wands, the Five of Swords. This is their challenge. The two of wands in, in reverse and the three of cups in reverse. This person's not happy with their choices. Like this person plays both sides of the fence. They're always like in another zone, like this way, that way. Like they don't know what they want. They're very, very, very confusing. And because they're not happy within themselves, they're sitting here looking for other people to make them happy. The thing is, I do feel like once they met you, they didn't realize the love was going to come that fast. You know, and now they're like freaking out about it, you know, and the five of wands and the five of swords. This is all internal. This person's going all over the place. Like there could be a lot of fights and arguments in this person's life. This person may cause a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, but then they beat themselves up about it in the end because like they're the cause for all of this. You know, you can't blame other people for you cheating because that's your choice. If, you know, you can claim other people for them treating you wrong, but it doesn't make you go and cheat on people. And so I feel like this person causes a lot of arguments and they may try to put the blame on other people. Like, well, if you didn't do this, I wouldn't have did this. This could be a narcissist. <clears throat> the past, the ten of wands, the six of wands. Yeah, this person had an issue with fucking being flirtatious, talking to everybody that they can, like getting attention from everybody, you know, the four of swords. I feel like this person went from like love bombing you, giving you attention to complete silence. 
and now it's like you guys don't know what's going on. And if you don't know if this person's in another relationship or not, I feel like this person's married or they have a family and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they are a little, a little freak. That's what I'm hearing. Like this person just jumps from one person to another. Even though they are trying to uproot everything that they can right now to come to you, like all of their patterns, the relationship that they were in, you know, I'm going to see how, how you feel about them. The Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, they could be very successful. Like they may have like um, a really good life or maybe they have like a really good job or something like that. The Four of Wands, they could have like a really nice house too as well. This could be your twin flame. All right, because the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands is like you've wished for this person. You want this person to come back. You really do value them, like, highly. The Page of Wands. I feel like you've been wondering about this person a lot. The Ace of Wands. Something small that turned into something so big so quickly, right? This could be your twin flame or this is somebody that mirrors, like, your energy or mirror not your energy your past and it could be mirroring like the things that you've been through with other people i feel like this is kind of like a test for you though the king of wands the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles this i don't see any other kings and queens oh yeah the king of swords besides the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles so this could really be a divine counterpart but at the same time oh and the king of wands i just don't feel like this person knows what they want all right i think this person has an issue with going from person to person they come out and they put themselves out as like oh i'm this you know I'm this and I'm that, you know, I got this and I got, it's just like this person might be like a little bit of a show off um, to try to like get more people's attention. Collapse and downfall. Everything that they're doing is falling apart, weak and phony. Like this person got caught in a lie and now everything is falling apart for them. That's probably why they're uprooting. It's not like they, I don't think this person like spoke up and said they needed to leave. I feel like more so they got caught doing things that they shouldn't be doing and now they have to leave because the person, the third party is like not going to let this person keep on taking advantage of them. And then you have daydreaming and reminiscing about you, insomnia, sleepless nights, and big mistakes. This person really fucked up and now they can't even sleep about it. Now they're about to lose everything because of their own grief. Because they were never upfront and honest from the beginning and they didn't have enough courage to tell this person that they weren't happy. So they just literally treated them like a dog, like a doormat and walked all over them. Sorrow and remorse. Like this person may even walk with their head down or wear, maybe they always wear like a hoodie or like glasses or like a hat with like a baseball hat or something so this way they can kind of like always like cover their face. I feel like this person doesn't look like to look people in the face or in the eyes because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And this person feels like if they look people in the eye like people can read them. Yeah, mindless with no direction. Yeah. So you have mindless with no direction. Even underneath of this is the lost soul. Okay, so like, the, like I was saying before, like this person doesn't know what they want. They don't know where they're headed. They don't know what makes them happy. All they do is they sit there and suffer and they take things and they stay with things that they're not happy with and then they get mad because they're not happy. It's like this person literally has no courage, no voice, and they keep themselves stuck in this. And they're and all they're doing is hurting people. Like not just their, their wife or partner or whatever it is they're hurting the other people too as well like these third parties you know like you like whoever else that they've decided to kind of like dog out and now this person's seeing like damn i fucked up i made a big ass mistake and now everybody sees me for what i truly am and now it's like very hard for them to even like get anywhere it's reckless behavior like every there could be a lot of gossip about this person's behavior there could be a lot of people talking about this person. 
and addictions and codependency. Like this person may even have like some type of addiction here or they may even turn to an addiction because of this feeling so alone. Also, this person has an issue with like liking to rely. You all right? Love you. You have fear of love. But like this person likes to depend on other people to handle their situations, to take care of them, to pay the rent. Like if this was a man, this is somebody that's just like they let the women do all the work. And then you have rebounds. Like this person literally is like a little man whore or a whore, you know? <laughs> like this person is just like from person to person to person to person. And I do feel like ever since meeting you, like you changed your whole view about people. Like they finally find somebody that they like. But yet, they're so fucking stuck, and they're still stuck in this pattern, so then you get a chance to see, like, their true selves, and it's like, they finally meet somebody that they like, and now they can't keep them, you know? They could have ghosted you, and then after they walked away, they've been in pain ever since, you know? Night terrors. Like, I think this person has a problem sleeping, too. They may also have really bad nightmares, really bad dreams. I'm literally seeing somebody, like, like wake up like that, and, like, Drowning. Uh, maybe this person has dreams of drowning. That's what I heard. Escape in reality. Like I said, this person does not want to face things. They rather run, run, run from their problems 24-7 instead of fucking, you know, facing the facts. You have childish and mind games. Like this person may play the video game all day long. Or maybe they just play games with other people. Like I said, that all they do is hurt other people. And to me, I don't even know if it affects them because I don't really see it bothering them. You have breaking point. Well, I guess it's starting to bother them now because with this breaking point card, I feel like they're starting to realize like they're no, nothing that they're doing is making them happy. Poor self-esteem and insecurities. This person may have been like, I'm literally seeing like somebody getting teased at school and pointed at and laughed at. And so like this person could have been teased. Um, and so like, you know, maybe when they were younger, like they were really skinny or maybe they had like, you know, freckles or glasses or whatever it is that people like to tease kids, you know, kids like to tease other kids for. This person got fucked with a lot. Um, and this could also came from their family because I know that sometimes people grow up with some fucked up ass parents. I call them like ugly and fat. I had some friends that had that and I feel like that's so fucked up. And that causes literally issues for the rest of people's lives unless they figure out, you know, how to deal with that and, and, and cope with it in a positive way. This person literally let it affect them so bad to where it's like, it's like they got a glow up. They had a glow up, right? They could have been like, I don't know, a dork or somebody that got, I was a dork, but um, somebody got picked up <laughs> in school, right? And then when they got older, they started like, their bodies started changing, they started maturing, and now like this person's like somebody that like everybody likes, they get so much attention. And so it makes them feel better having all of these people come to them because they're getting what they always wanted, right? But it's like an addiction to this person now and it's fucking up their life and they're not happy with it and it's starting to reach to their breaking point. So I'm gonna put all my cards back and then I wanna ask, you know, what is the outcome of this? Heartbroken. This person may be like trying to block out everybody. Maybe they wear earbuds all the time. Maybe they're always listening to music. I feel like this person tries to tune out a lot of the things in their life. Rather than dealing with it, they just tune it out, which just keeps the problem there. So what is this person's intentions when they uproot the Five of Swords, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands? <clears throat> this person, when they come back in, they're still going to have this habit. Okay, it's not fixed. I mean, you got the Three of Pentacles, which could be like them wanting to build with you, but you have the Five of Swords with the Magician. This is somebody who's a manipulator, a fucking narcissist, somebody that creates um, competition or problems. And with the Seven of Wands, I don't know. I just feel like you guys have your walls up towards this person. Like you guys got played before and you're not going to let this person play you again. You know, you're not beat for this person's mind games. You guys have like figured things out. The Page of Wands, some of you guys have already moved on, started dating. 
right? I don't even feel like this person's like, you're not waiting for this person. When they come back, where are you going to be? The Page of Swords, <laughs> the King of Cups, and the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands. The thing is, I feel like you're going to be a little bit angry with this person because this person is going to come back the same way. But you're going to keep your emotions in, in, in control. You're not going to let them get the best of you. With the Page of Swords, I do feel like you have questions that you want to ask this person. You know, I feel like you need closure or you need some type of information. And I feel like you're going to get it. But I feel like that's going to be something that really hurts you. Like a heartbreaking feeling. I don't know if this person is going to tell you. Like, i got a lot of pages here. If this person is going to tell you the shit that they've been through. So this way they can kind of help you under, oh my Jesus, help you understand where they're coming from. And why are they, why they are so like back and forth as such a cheater. I feel like this person wants to tell you that they are a wounded warrior. They're a victim. They could also, I don't want to say what I was going to say. The Hierophant. The Three of Wands. When this person comes back, I feel like you guys are already going to be healed. And you've already learned your lesson from this person. And you're going to choose to move on in a different direction from this person. You see the hierophant, like this person comes in wanting commitment and you got your back turned. It's like, nope, I'm not dealing with this. I've, I've witnessed what you could do in the past and I'm not about to like get my feelings hurt again. The page of cups, like this person, like I feel like you see this person as a liar or somebody that like feeds illusions in your head. Like they tell you what you want to hear and not, you know, the real shit. So, and then you have the Eight of Cups, yeah. Emotionally, you guys have detached from this person or you are detaching from this person. And I feel like you guys are walking towards something better. The Eight of Cups walks towards the Nine of Cups, which is a wish granted. So by you guys walking away from this person, I feel like you're going to be blessed with some type of, like, blessing from the universe. What's coming next for you? The Fool. A brand new journey. Taking a leap of faith, a brand new start. It's a zero. It's the very, very first card out of the whole tarot deck. So, and the six of swords. Look at all these cards walking away. You're on a brand new chapter, a brand new path in your life. You're headed towards better. This is leaving rocky waters to go to calmer shores, right? This is too rocky and you guys are not sticking with it. The moon, it scares you. You know that there's going to be, like, you know, if you were to give this person another chance, even if you wanted to. Even if you still have love for this person, you know if you were to give them another chance that they end up hurting you in the long run. The Ace of Cups. You're sailing towards the Two of Cups. You're sailing towards a new love. When this person comes back, I feel like you guys are already going to be in a completely different zone. Like in a completely different mindset. And you also may have already started creating some type of bond with somebody else. This person's not going to be able to match that. All right, so anyway, I'm going to get a message from your higher self, okay? Arc field. Your vibe is a gift. It is time to clear your arc field and protect it, purify and restore your energy. And that's what you're doing. Because if you were to keep up with this person, this person could literally make you have like a downfall or something. And you don't want them to bring you down to their level because you're so much higher above. And then you have liberate yourself. This person's even walking away. You got their back turned. It says you don't have to carry your burdens alone. Have the courage to ask and accept help. Some of you guys um, may need some help with a certain situation here. This could be like maybe counseling or something. This could also just be like talking to God, talking to your angels, you know, asking them for help. If you don't want to ask anybody in your like life. Um, and then you have the path to love. So you guys are on the path to love. It says trust. No, it says your divine soul partner is searching for you and soon you will both find each other. Stay the course and have faith. Okay, so your divine partner is coming in for you. This person was not it. Okay, this person definitely was not it. They were not for you. I feel like they were a big lesson. But you deserve something better. I mean, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. This is true love and it's, and it's equal. Okay, 
Yeah, this person that we're dealing with here is like a labyrinth. Like, if you get stuck with this person, you're never going to be able to find a way out. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I hope this helps. If it helps, please like and subscribe. Um, helps my videos get seen. And I hope you guys have a great day. Okay? Take care. Toodles.